Loudy District Library would like to introduce to you the Lakeland Library Cooperative app, which offers great resources such as easy ways to access your account, place holds, and use self-checkout. In this video, we will review how to download the app, register your library card, access your account, and highlight a few other resources. First, you'll need to search for the Lakeland Library Cooperative in your device's app store. In this video, we're using the Play Store. At this point, you'll need to download and install the app, which I've already done just to save time. Once you have completed those steps, go ahead and open the app to get started. First, you'll need to choose your library. They're in alphabetical order. Next, you will need to enter your library card number and your PIN. If you don't have a library card, you can always skip this step or enter as a guest. Success. As you can see, there are a lot of great features, such as a button to search the library catalog. That will be another video though. You can also check your account. We'll get back to that in a few moments. But there's also buttons to look at the library's events, to see what's going on in use services, a button to our digital collections, such as Overdrive Livy, a button for our research databases, and a button for our library information. And we'll go to that real quick. You can see our hours, ways to contact us, directions, and our website. But for now, let's just go back home. And you can see at the bottom here, there's a home, a search catalog button, an account button that's that little person and the little speech bubble is another way to contact us. But let's go home for now. The next place I wanna highlight is how to renew or get a card. And so if you don't have a library card already, this is where you can apply for one. We'll get back to you in a couple of business days with your library card. But if you already have one, here's where you can renew one if you need to. But let's go home. Let's talk about the account button. Within accounts, you have manage accounts, my checkouts, and a few other things. Let's look at manage accounts first. Here you can see the library card that we entered at the beginning of the video, but you can add additional ones. This is a great feature for families who would like all of the library cards at their fingertips on one device. Let's go ahead and add another card. Validate. Success. Now we have two cards that for this video we named Kapira Patron Adult and Kapira Patron Juvenile. And if you had more, you could still add more cards, not just two. But let's go back. Now we have other features such as My Checkouts. Let's look at My Checkouts. Oh, it is giving us a choice between the Kapira Patron Adult and Kapira Patron Juvenile. Let's look at the adult one. Here we can see two items are checked out. Right now, I don't really need to renew anything, but if you did, you can touch one of the items, highlight it, and also then press Renew Selected. I don't need to renew anything, so I'm just gonna go back. You can also look at My Holds, so let's do that. And again, you have to pick which card. It looks like we have on hold Class Act, position one of one. That means this person is the next person in line for this book. You can touch it to highlight and manage it. You can cancel it, freeze it, or unfreeze it. I don't need to do anything right now, so let's just go back. Now let's look at my reading history. The reading history feature is something that you have to opt into. You can't opt into it through the Kapira app, but you can go to the library homepage, loudatlibrary.org, and my account and opt in there. So if this is something that you would be interested in, you're more than welcome to opt in. Most of you will have this page blank. Some of you may have already opted in. And so if you have already done that, it will fill up with all the things that you've read. Next up is My Fines and Fees. Here, you can see all of your overdue fines or if you have stuff in billing, you can pay for it here. This card doesn't have anything, but if you wanna see, let's go to Pay Fines. It brings up a separate page where you have to enter your barcode and PIN. Let's just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And from there, you'll be able to pay your fines and fees. 
there's also a digital library card option. Here you can view a digital copy of your library card. It gives you a barcode that you can take to any of our checkout stations in the building and it will scan it so you can check out. Another great feature of this app is the mobile checkout. There will be a separate video on that, so if you're interested, take a look for it. But this is a great feature to use for self-checkout when you're in the library building. But in the end, I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy this app. If you have any questions, please contact us at 616-850-6900.